Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this background. Let's open a new document, set the stroke to none and change the fill to any gradient that you like. If you wish to use the same gradient as mine, here are the color values. Be sure to set the type to radio. Let's zoom out. Now press the letter M for the rectangle tool or select it from the toolbar panel and draw a rectangle the size of your artboard. Let's create a copy. Press the Ctrl and C keys on your keyboard to copy it and Ctrl F to paste it in front. Now change this copied shape to black. Let's lag this layer and turn off its visibility. We will use it later. Now lag the green background layer as well to prevent it from moving. Next we will create this shape. Let's select another gradient. This time set the type to linear. Here are the color values for the one I'm using. Now select a drawing tool of your choice. I'm going to use the curvature tool. And let's create the first shape. If necessary adjust the curves. Now press the letter G to show the gradient annotator on the screen and adjust the gradient's direction. Next we'll create this shadow. First we'll copy and paste this shape to the back. To do this, either press the Ctrl and C keys on your keyboard to copy it and Ctrl B to paste it in the back or to do it faster, press the Ctrl, C and B keys all at once. This will save you lots of time. Let's change the fill to a darker shade of green. If you wish, rename this layer to Shadow. Now either move this shadow shape down using the Selection tool or use the arrow keys on your keyboard instead. Next go to Effect, Blur and choose Gaussian Blur. Now adjust the radius to get a nice smooth edge. Let's turn off the background layer for a second. If your shadow shows this sharp edge, we can easily adjust it. To do this, go to Effect, Document Raster Effect Settings and now change the resolution to High, choose Anti-Alias from the Options and increase the value of pixels around the object. Let's turn the background layer back on. Now zoom out. Switch to a drawing tool of your choice. Select the same gradient that we used before and create another shape. Switch to the Gradient tool and adjust the gradient's direction. Switch to the Selection tool to select the shape and like we did previously, create a copy and paste it to the back. Now apply Dark Green for the shadow, adjust its position and apply the same attributes that we used for the first shadow. To copy the attributes from the first shadow to the second shadow, first be sure the second shadow is selected and now while you are holding down the ALT key, click on the first shadow layer, hold and drag it to the second shadow layer. Now repeat these steps with the other shapes. Next we'll add a texture. First go to Layers, scroll down, turn on the visibility of the layer with a black rectangle and unlock it. Now we need to bring it to the top. 
We can either click on the layer, hold and drag it to the top, or we can press the Ctrl, Shift and right bracket keys instead. With the black rectangle selected, go to Effect, Texture and choose Grain. Now wait for Illustrator to finish the task. And if you wish, adjust the zoom area. Next, set the grain type to stippled and adjust the intensity and contrast. Click OK. Now open the transparency window, set the blending mode to soft light and if you wish, lower the opacity. Finally, we will trim the edges. We can either go to View and select Trim View, or if you don't have this option, first create a rectangle the size of your artboard. Be sure it is on top. Now select everything, and either go to Object, Clipping Mask and choose Make, or press the Ctrl and number 7 keys on your keyboard instead. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.